Hey, this is Ryan with WebEminence.com. I'm going to do a quick tutorial to show you how to install WordPress very quickly on your HostGator account. I know there's a lot of tutorials out there for installing WordPress on hosting accounts, but this one's specifically for HostGator. So I recommend HostGator hosting. I've used them for 10 years. If you want to get an account, you can go to the link below and use the coupon code I provided to get a discount. Once you have your HostGator account set up, you're simply gonna go to your browser and type in your domain name slash cPanel. In my case, I'm typing in webeminence.com slash cPanel, and that brings me to a login screen just like this one where you log into your control panel, which they call which is called cPanel. So you'll use the username and password that was given to you by HostGator to log in here. And I'll go to this page where I'm already logged into a cPanel to show you what the next step is. To install WordPress quickly, you're going to scroll down to the box that's called Software and Services. There's a few ways to install it. The way that I usually do it is called Fantastico Deluxe, which is an install service that allows you to install a number of different uh, scripts for different uh, functions that you can use within your website. You can also use quick install to install WordPress and some other hosts will have a WordPress icon here. You can also use that to install. No matter which way you do it, it's going to be a similar process. I've just always used Fantastico, so I'm going to use that. So now I'm in the Fantastico control panel and on the left hand side, you'll see all the different scripts that you can install very easily on your website. And the one we're looking for is WordPress. And this screen will show you your current installations of WordPress. I actually have one installation on the root of my site, but most people installing for the first time will have no installation. So you're going to click new installation. The first thing to do is select the domain that you want to install WordPress on. Most of you will only have one domain. Mine is webeminencedemo.com. The next line asks you which directory to install WordPress in. If you leave this blank, it will install it on the root of your site, meaning just your main site, .com, whatever it is. So in my case, if I went to webeminencedemo.com, I would see my WordPress site. To install WordPress in a directory, you can type it here. For example, if I wanted the site to be on webeminencedemo.com slash blog, I would just type blog here. Do not type in the slash, just type the name of the directory. Next, you can enter an administrator username and password. I recommend using a strong username and password. There's a lot of hackers out there who try to get into WordPress sites because there's so many WordPress sites that use obvious usernames and passwords. So make sure to use something good here. I'm gonna use an easy password, but in your case, make sure not to use usernames like user or admin or things that are very obvious and make sure to use a strong password. You can create an admin nickname. It's important to use a functioning email address here as the admin email, and then you can give your site a name, which you will be able to change later. Once you have all these fields filled in, you can just click Install WordPress. This screen is confirming the information you typed in. It's giving you your database username here that you may want to make note of. It's also confirming that the access URL will be webeminencedemo.com slash blog. So then you click Finish Installation to continue. And the WordPress installation will typically take less than 30 seconds. This one took less than 10 seconds. So it's completed. Here it gives you a link to your admin login for your WordPress site, which is always going to be your WordPress domain slash WP dash admin. On this screen, you can also choose to 
email yourself the installation information and this is helpful because it'll give you your username and password. They also display it on this screen here. So make sure to keep track of that. And I'll click this admin link so you can see what it looks like. So here we are on the login screen for my new WordPress installation. I've already typed in the username and password. So if I click login, it will take me to the WordPress dashboard. So that's how easy it is to install WordPress. You see we did it in just a few minutes there. You can watch some of my other videos on my YouTube channel and blog to learn about some of the basic features of WordPress like creating pages, adding pictures, and doing some more advanced functions in WordPress, but that's at least how you install it. You could then click around on the left-hand side of the screen just to get familiar with WordPress and how it works. You can then visit your site by clicking on this link here. So here's my site live without having done anything to it with some sample content and the default theme that WordPress provides. So I hope that helps you. If you have any questions about WordPress or getting started with themes and adding content or you'd like help in building your WordPress site, I do have a service where I build sites for people using WordPress and professional design themes. So get in touch with me if you're looking for help in building your website. Thanks for watching the video. Catch you later.